welcome or welcome back to my channel today's in the know video is very special to me because it we will be talking about five or so korean fashion brands that i feel like you guys should check out i haven't done a video that like sheds not sheds light but brings like focus to um east asian brands in a while one of my best videos actually on my channel is i think nine brands i'd recommend checking out and it was mainly um east asian fashion brands and so it's something i'm really excited to share with you if you didn't know i have been a korean entertainment lover since i was nine years old and so i'm pretty excited to share these with you and yeah so if you're interested please stay tuned like comment subscribe i share a lot of videos like this on my channel i have a whole playlist called in the know where i do share um like i speak on specific topics and share brands or items that are maybe a little bit more underrated so yeah and please follow me on instagram if you're interested to see my style looked out and let's get into the video okay all of these brands of course are gonna have a touch of minimalism to them because it is i who is sharing it but it will have of course their own unique flair and a flair that i feel like cannot be replicated here in the west that korean brands almost every time i see a brand and i'm like that's a korean brand there's just a specific spark it's kind of like when you see someone or you hear someone from your hometown and they maybe didn't say anything specific but like there's a specific dialect or slang that's used i feel the same when i look at korean brands there's an added spark or a uniqueness to um a lot of their brands and so i'm really excited to share them anyways first brand is i may be pronouncing it wrong and i'm also looking over here because i have my laptop with all the images but the first brand, I believe it's Carrier. Carrier, you'll see it on the screen. I, this is like, I feel like especially for fall, winter vibes, they have a lot of really beautiful knits and like, um, what do you call it? Um, tailored pieces, tailored garments, and in a beautiful um, array of colors, well, they're like grays and browns and stuff like that but for me i feel like undertone and everything really is what makes a color like like when a brand focuses on all those details in a color is what makes the garment like always something to my heart um but this brand the my main reason why i like it is the knitwear and the tailored garments it would be my go-to for like fall basics and really the foundation of a wardrobe especially if you live in a cooler climate i would definitely recommend checking out this brand even if you wanted to just check them out for style inspiration for that time of the year they do of course during the spring summer have pieces for that but i specifically like their fall winter collection and i'm actually going to share with you a brand that i feel like does spring summer pieces really well it's almost like this would be the brand for fall winter and then the other one would be like their match in spring summer but Carrier is um, I'm gonna call it Carrier is a brand I'd recommend checking out if you really like sleek minimal um, classic silhouettes things that don't have too much fluff or addedness going on but you want a really quality um, line for the foundation of your wardrobe I would even liken it to something like La Mer um, yeah that's the kind of vibe it gives me so Carrier is number one brand number two is kinder solomon this brand i think one of the reasons it makes i'm like what's the word drawn to it is because i feel they do spring summer clothing very well spring summer is always the time of year that i feel really stumped when it comes to fashion i feel demotivated and like i lack a spark during this time of year but the way they do their garments it makes me it makes me actually feel like hmm maybe i could get on the spring summer bandwagon but yes the cuts and silhouettes are very clean they have a slightly more feminine touch to it than i would say the previous brand um and a little bit more the details there's more um like pleating and like a puffy shoulder but still a very minimal clean silhouette 
not too many um, added frills as there's gonna be a brand that I feel does the more like out there clothing really well but this Kinder Solomon would be a great place to start if you're looking to build a spring summer capsule wardrobe for the more minimalistic individual also a lot of great tailoring but with lighter fabrics um, they also play with texture um, I'll show you some pictures on the screen and yeah they I think they're really great at making spring summer clothing really enjoyable to me and if you feel stumped again I would recommend going to check out their page all of these sites um, all of these brands are featured on W concept and that's how I found out about them so Kinder Solomon is one that just feels like a breath of fresh air the fabrics feel light and like I want to run in a field or something Kinder Solomon check it out I'm starting to realize with all the brands that I chose they're almost like counterparts of each other if that makes sense the brand I'm gonna mention next is Blossom H Company this brand I feel like got really really popular I knew about them before but it got really popular I feel like after Lois J U I think that's her name on YouTube and Instagram she posted like this cropped tweed jacket style or it was like wool brown and it had these um, tortoiseshell um, double-breasted buttons it's such a cute jacket and to this day it's still like in my mind I just don't think the shade will compliment me that well but Blossom is still on the more minimal side but it feels a little bit more fun and fresh and a little less like severe or like rigid in comparison to the other two brands again love the first two brands hence why I mentioned them but Blossom has a little bit more of a fun younger flair to it there's more cropped items and I would describe it as the chic cool girl that the minimal chic cool girl it's a little bit more trendy than the other two brands that I would say great for starting a capsule wardrobe but this brand has like more takes on new trendy takes on classic clothing so again you'll see on the screen like even the tweed vest there's a pink tweed vest they have it's a pretty classic silhouette you could pair it with trousers um, but it will add that little fun personality twist to it and they do have also like they'll play with like crinkly material in again very classic silhouettes but that added touch to it does make it feel a little bit more current if you will uh, and a little less timeless and something i wanted to mention about this brand t not even though i thoroughly and like i really believe in buying items that will stand the test of time which is why i make quite a few videos on how to build like intentional wardrobes but I do think it's important to have fun and live in the moment and I feel like that's what Blossom does really well. Again, they make silhouettes that are pretty, like they're known silhouettes but they do have that added touch to them that makes it feel like this is of today, if that makes sense. Brand number four, Maison Maris. I think that's how you say the name. So again, how I spoke about counterparts, I feel like this brand is the little bit more tomboy version of Blossom. It does still have like um, the minimal silhouettes, but it does feel and it does still feel younger in comparison to the first two brands, but it has a little bit more of a sporty, slouchy vibe, less stereotypically feminine or really cutesy, girly silhouettes. This one feels a little bit more almost like skater <laughs> vibe a number five on this list is ink I think this brand is so fun and that's why I kind of left it towards the end it's almost like hmm it's like if you were building a capsule wardrobe you would start with the first two brands that I mentioned Carrier Kinder Solomon because they would give you like the base like pieces that could go with everything and for the two like halves of the year and then Blossom and Maison Maris have again they're still like 
basics but with a little bit more of a flair and like you can add a little bit more personality to the with to your wardrobe using those two brands and then this one ink is where you really go all out and is like a, such a personality brand it has a lot of fun fun like garments shoes accessories plays with texture and color in a really brilliant way and I feel like if you're really feeling stumped or unexcited in fashion maybe go to look at images either on Pinterest Instagram wherever of like your extreme opposite for me I tend to gravitate towards more minimal um, aesthetics clothing and designers but when I'm on Pinterest or when I'm feeling kind of ugh, about fashion I go to the like more maximalist side and then I am able to pick out pieces that I could add to my style that will just add, make it a little bit more me so it's less maybe flat and it has a little bit more of my personality that shines through and I feel like ink is a perfect brand to do that with um, the silhouettes of their shoes that may be really pointy or super squared off and then it may have some really fun patterns even their bags I I would just 10 out of 10 recommend even just going through and looking at it to get inspired and yeah so ink is number five on this list and the main reason I wanted to mention it is because it's a brand that just has fun with fashion but is also very intentional about the garments and I feel like when you go through the page like if you're on W Concept or on their Instagram you feel like this person really does enjoy fashion and does see it as like a platform or medium for self-expression so ink is number five so i did say i was gonna do like five or so brands this one is purely just a bonus brand because as a child i my favorite girl group as a kid was sonia shide girls generation and i remember i think they did a campaign or for a while they were the face of the brand justina I believe that's the name right Justina and I was like when I'm older I'm gonna be able to buy from this brand and I'm gonna buy their bags and accessories and all those things and even as like a 10 year old I would look at this and I'm like I'm gonna save up so that I can purchase it of course being 10 there was no way I was gonna be able to do so but I just wanted to mention this brand because um, W concept also still like has them on their page and I just wanted to like show love to them now the brand my current style is not as like overtly or stereotypically feminine and super like girly if you will i feel like that's more so the image of the brand they use more like intricate details it kind of gives me princess vibes and i think at the time i don't know if it still is but their logo was kind of like a crown or something like that and yeah it just feels very princess very pretty glamour vibe there is the one bag that if i were to get something from the brand i think it would be the hazel small round bag and it kind of has a similar look to the dior bobby bag and i think i kind of like that with this the branding is um, more subtle especially here in the west you would probably not know the brand and i really like it there's like a burgundy raspberry color that it comes in and again if you want me to do a fall mood board video let me know because i feel like this raspberry color is one of the colors i'm really going to be gravitating towards for this season so anyways justina is a brand i just wanted to mention because it was one of the it was probably the first brand that got me excited about Korean fashion. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. It was actually very hard to do it because it was like, how do I describe this brand, these brands other than saying I like it? <laughs> um, but hopefully through the images and maybe some script that I put on the screen, you kind of get the vibe and the gist and you check them out even if it's just to go through and get some style inspiration. I think if you want to be ahead of trends looking at fashion happening in East Asia, it, you're going to be ahead, okay? Everything happens like at least six months a year before things are trending here, I feel like. And it can also give you 
if you want to fight the battle of sameness which i feel like is so prevalent on social media it's nice to get fashion inspo or your actual products from another part of the world that yeah here may not be as familiar with so yeah i hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe let me know videos you want to see i want to do some styling videos i mean i have some ideas but I need to wait till it gets a little cooler because I'm so sorry. I have no style inspiration for you for summer and we're basically done. So thank the Lord because summer and I, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.